Peace. What it is. All right. Um. What you are looking at is an astrological wheel. All right. I know what you're thinking. This nigga got too much time on his hands. I stopped watching TV. You know, it's amazing the shit you're doing. You just stop watching TV. But anyway, so I got. Anyway, fuck it. I was gonna try to explain to you all this, but that's irrelevant. Basically, I got too much time on my hands, right? So, I got this from some book. Can't remember. Or maybe not even a book. It might have been just an article. Man, it was an article on the internet. But it is the the Zodiac within the Zodiac. Um, there are many studies. You know, many ways to look at your birth chart or whatever. So... This is just one, you know, I ain't trying to give you, I ain't trying to present it as if this is a, the end all be all, but you know, it's just another way to analyze yourself and analyze your surroundings because astrology is your relationship with nature or your relationship with your higher nature, all right? So anyway. I put it where um, Aries is, you know, east and Taurus. You know what I'm saying? That's how it. That's how generally your birth charts look. Now, what everything is, if you haven't already figured it out, is okay. You have 30 degrees in each sign, right? From Aries to Taurus, you got 30 degrees. From Ash and I just took a shower. Um, <laughs> all right, you got 30 degrees, right? Now. Every 2.5 degrees, a different sign rules. Hold on, let me go back. You know, you should know of deacons. Every 10, de- okay, okay, let me go back. <laughs> in your in your church, you got the cardinal, right? And then you got the uh, deacons, right? And you got the, the pastor, Right now, first off, just look at the word pastor and take off the P. It's aster, as in asteroid or as in astro space type shit. So, okay, that's one. The cardinal, and, and this ain't and this ain't reaching for straws. Literally comes from the cardinal points, which is here, um, here, Mia, and Mia. Um, the cardinal points, the four cardinal points, you know, well, actually, take that back, I think they all, it's actually Aquarius, which is the man with the, um, pitcher, Leo the lion, Scorpio the snake or eagle, I mean, the scor- uh, serpent or eagle, and then the bull or Taurus, that's in the Bible, but anyway, <clears throat> and then the deacons in your church, and that's in the pool, and you're in the pulpit of hell, okay, anyway. Um, is that every 10 degrees is a deacon. You should, you know, a decimeter is, you know, 10, um, 10 meters, right? Deca, everybody know deca means 10. So a deacon in your church is every 10 degrees on each, on his chart, on a wheel, on the zodiac, okay? So, now, if you look into it, you'll know that in every, okay, every 10 degrees of the planet rules that 10 degrees because... Each sign is ruled by an element. The fire, signs, Aries, Leo, Sag, the water signs, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. I don't even know where they at, but I already know where they at. You know what I'm saying? Air, air, air. It's just, it's just, it's math. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what was the other one? Earth, bam, bam, bam. All right, so each sign, Aries is a fire sign. So the first degrees is ruled by Mars because Mars rules Aries, right? The second ten degrees, I say first degree. The second ten degrees is ruled by the sun because that's the next fire sign. You see, Leo, bam. The last ten degrees is ruled by Jupiter because that's the Third fire sign, Sag. See, Jupiter. 
excuse me. So, you see how it breaks down. Now, and then we're going to go to the next one so you can get it. First one's ruled by Taurus. First 10 degrees, the first deacon is ruled by Venus because Venus rules Taurus. Second one by Mercury because Mercury rules Virgo. And, um... Uh, Saturn, because Saturn rules Capricorn, the third, and Saturn, Saturn, Capricorn. It's kind of confusing looking at it. I mean, not confusing, but kind of, I'm going, I don't know, looking from the phone. I'm trying to point. It's weird. Anyway, so you you should know that within your studies. You, you will learn that, you know. And here you can look. Oh, let me see if I can get it. If you can get it. Bam. Uh, it probably ain't going to be good. I don't know. Hopefully you can get it where you can see it. But once you see it, you can do this in your head easily, because check it out. <clears throat> Let's start with Capricorn. So you can, so I won't just stick with Aries. You can get it. Okay, every ten degrees has four signs in it. Four, eight, twelve. You see, it's twelve in the whole zodiac. So this ten degrees goes from Capricorn to Aries, and then after Aries, you go to Taurus. That's why the second deacon of Capricorn. Is ruled by Taurus or Venus. Taurus to Leo, then bam, Virgo, Mercury. See, so how and how would this break down? I'm gonna use myself as an example. I'm a Gemini, right? My son's in Gemini, it's born at 19 degrees, right? So 19, if that's 20 degrees Aquarius, then 19 degrees would be in Capricorn. Now me, I'm the type of person. That, you know, I'm a Gemini, so I like to think. But I love to build upon um, prior ideas. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like to make things better. What does a Capricorn do? The Capricorn is the builder. The Capricorn is um, you know, your career path. You know, what you're good at, what you want to do, the, the mountain you want to create in life. The Capricorn is rules the 10th house and the 10th house is represented of your father and the fourth house across from it is representative of your mother the moon see and your father saturn father time you see so yes what was my point oh, okay so the degrees within the each sign tell you about what aspect of the sign is being expressed at that time because you know everything creation is a will that's how you know the earth is flat but i ain't going there you know what i'm saying everything everything is a will how you find um 360 degrees on a sphere on a sphere look it up they're gonna tell you how they find it they're gonna cut the sphere in half and find a circle on that hole can't find 360 degrees on the sphere so if we're about going through space astrology doesn't really work just doesn't but anyway whatever whatever i'm not going there the point is the you know the study within the study the degrees within the sign can tell you more you know so i don't know i hope i made that clear hope so if i didn't please let me know you know give another example okay libra is ruled by venus okay and it's how cool this is real quick it's like this is cool like when you when you put it on here okay you got Saturn, you got the sun right here. Directly across from the sun, you got Saturn. All right? So you got Venus here. Directly across from Venus, you got Mars. All right, now let's just jump over here. Pisces, right? In, in Pisces, the 20, 20th degree, it's ruled by Scorpio. Did I say that right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pisces. Hold on, I think I... Did I fuck something up? No, that makes sense to me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, right, bam, Mars. And straight across from it, you'll see, is Venus. You see? Everywhere it go, Mercury always going against Jupiter. You see? And the sun is always going against Saturn. The moon is always going against Saturn. Okay? Because Satan's the one that fell. And the moon is the higher, the higher self, the uh, negative side of the higher self. And the sun is the positive side of the higher self. You see? And not negative and bad. You know, negative in, as in how you receive things, how your emotions. 
Yeah. So, you know, that's that's, that's cool, too. You know, it's just, like, if you don't believe it's a God, the only place that is dull, it go the same is right here, and that's where it go from Pisces to Aries. Now, don't that make sense? You come in strong into the new ast astrological new year, you know, still in, still in Mars, and right across from it is what? Venus. See? I'm from Virgo. Because the last deacon of Virgo is about Taurus. You see? You see the divine plan? You got to be out your regular ass mind. Talking about you an atheist. Get your way. Anyway. So, you know. Astrology, man. I don't know. Shit's beautiful to me. Peace.